Alrighty, everyone. Good morning from good old Indiana land. It's a rainy day today. We are going to go thrifting. I am excited because it's thrifting. You never know what you're going to find. You never know what to expect. Um, when I get back home, I have a ton of work to do here, but we're going to go to like two or three thrift stores in my area. Um, see what we can find. Hopefully a couple good things, but you never know. So yeah, we're going to do that. Get this video out to you guys tonight. It is Friday and hopefully it is a good one. So hopefully we can find something good, something good for the clickbait or whatever it is. But yeah, we're going to go thrift, find something good tomorrow. I think we might have something planned uh, for content wise, but we'll have to see again. So we'll see. But yeah, I'll update you guys here in a little bit once we find some stuff at the thrift. All right. These two days started off very strong with a nice patterned sweater a paris university crew neck heavy wear on it but i think i can bleach it out we got the tall text blank turtleneck good little piece there san fran crew neck the acg nike fleece zip up then we got a nice polo hoodie classic essential 4.99 the nice stephen barry's purdue crew neck ohio state champion windbreaker just like a nice autumn fall got a class 86 crew neck the isu quarter zip on the Jan Sport, and then we got a pair of Reebok sweats, which sold almost instantly when I posted them. And we got two of these faux leather jackets for women. Those have been hot right now. Um, I sell them for around like 40 bucks a piece. Then we had this jacket. I thought it was a lot older than what it is. It's a retro jacket from Jay Galt, so I ended up leaving it. Then we got this vintage Levi's button your fly. Pretty classic t-shirt, really like that tag. $2.99, that's a great price for this one. Single stitch, of course. Then we got a vintage Ken State Golden Flashes crew neck. Never found their stuff before, so nice little find. And then we got two pairs of Carhartt pants here, one khaki and one green. These always sell really well for me, so always happy to find them. And then a fresh rack came out before I left. We got this IU, nice little football crew neck. No tag, I don't know how old it is. And then we got a classic essential Nike. Has some pretty heavy wear to it, but $4.99, gotta pick it up. And that's a really cool colorway, to be honest with you. And Nike stuff always sells well. At this stop, we grab this Tennessee Sports Medicine Nike crew neck. Beautiful vintage Polar Ralph Lauren hoodie. Nice oversized fit on that one. On a good tag, of course. Having problems here getting it out. Then we got a Hollywood California crew neck from 2003. 2003 Purdue t-shirt. Nice little football piece. These vintage Gap cargo shorts. Good little pair of denim. And then we got the Y2K Nike track pants. Those always sell well for me. I think these sold within like 20 minutes of posting them. Got the Adidas. Nice little front and back heel on that one. Then an Abercrombie hoodie. You need to keep a lookout for these because they do sell well. The Cowboys piece, that one sold on Instagram right when I posted it. And then an IU Vintage Basketball Jones crew neck. Pretty cool little find. This stop, we got this Colts Y2K Reebok crew neck. Cool old school logo. Two Carhartt tees, I always pick those up if they're the right price, which they were, $1.99, steel. Got this Angel t-shirt, good for the flea market, and then a nice camo pocket long sleeve tee, really good fade and wear on that one. And then at the flea market, we found this beautiful Crown Royal faded out purple NASCAR jacket. These sell really well for like $150 to $200. Um, this one has a little bit of damage and stuff like that. But I paid up for it, but I'm I'm fine with that one. This one's really cool, and I've never had this jacket before in my personal collection. So if it fits, I may keep. We also picked up this really cool Y2K Nike hoodie. Just a classic little center swoosh design. Got some good wear and fade on it. And then we also grabbed this vintage 1992 Coke crew neck. Pretty cool piece. It's always cool. Tag the XL, but this one definitely fits smaller. I think it's like a medium, but still a nice little piece. And ended it off with a vintage Purdue hoodie. All right, everyone. Good morning. It is Monday. I am currently packing orders, but my post guy just knocked on the door and dropped off a package. So I wanted to show you guys what it is because it is a cool one. Now, first thing real quick before I notice what this package is, I have not touched this. I know exactly what package this is, um, just based off the person that sent it. But this is how the post guy handed it to me. And he said, he's like, I don't know when I got it from the post office this morning. That's exactly how it was. But he's like, I promise I didn't open it. And I'm like, okay. But then I noticed the person that sent this box paid $12.45 to ship me one item that probably weighs a pound. 
like just at a pound. That's ridiculous. He is from Connecticut. It would probably cost me $7 a ship what he sent me. This just goes to show you guys, you can save so much money just with like little life hacks. He could have shipped this out. I would have rolled this puppy up, compacted it in to a normal size poly mailer. He decided to send it to me in a 10 by 14 size box, which I mean, whatever. I'm not paying for the shipping he did. Um, I think I paid like seven or $8 to ship it, which is what it should have cost. Um, but when I saw that, I'm like, and he also went to the post office and did it. And y'all can't do that. I'm telling you, you spend way too much money doing that. But here's a little, a little sneak peek. The beautiful Patagonia deep pile. This colorway is amazing. Oh God, it smells terribly though. <coughs> smells like curry food. Um, Patagonia tag right there, men's XL. The measurements based off what he put on this thing would fit me perfectly. And, uh, whew, God dang, I am really upset I was gonna wear that today, but I cannot wear that. It reeks like he went out to like an Indian restaurant and just ate a ton of curry in it. But yeah, that was a quick little uh, thing I wanted to show you guys that I picked up. And uh, just to show you the shipping cost, I mean, that's, that's ridiculous to pay that much to ship that item. And real quickly, I'm gonna cut this and show you how much I would pay. I'll type in his address on my thing and you guys can see how much I would pay for that item uh, compared to what he paid. And hopefully the guy that sent me this is watching this video and is gonna learn something right here. But let me show you. All right, I'm not gonna show this guy's address, but literally UPS and USPS are the exact same price. Um, you can tell I just cleaned my computer. There's a little thing right there, but 608 for this exact package is just more than half of what he paid um and it's just a penny more to ship with usps so yeah just wanted to show you guys that and how you can save so much money just with shipping all right back at the thrifts we get this nice vintage nike michigan football jersey with the classic little champion essential crew neck the harley davidson tank top with a vintage penn state crew neck which always sells well and then we get a ball state university a little white 2k piece this stop, we found two really nice, pretty much like new Nike soccer jerseys. A really good time for those right now with a BJ pin, nice little white 2 k piece. We got a Harley Davidson t-shirt with a nice little back hit and then a Denver, Colorado crew neck, a vintage striped cardigan, pretty wild pattern. With my hometown piece, he's going to the flea market and sell pretty well for me. And then we get a Carhartt flannel with a camo jacket and then an LL Bean corduroy button up with a Y2K Purdue hoodie on the back. Really good fade on that one. This stop, we got two pairs of these smaller size Miss Me's. I think they're girl size, but for $5.99, I think I can get them at least around like 30 to 40 bucks for both. And then we got a Lee jacket, nice little 70s, 80s kids piece with an 80s Tonka tough little kids piece as well. I thought those were really cool and just really nice colors. A kid's IU hoodie. And then we got a 70s, 80s little Buffalo plaid flannel. Two nice sweaters with good patterns. This one's a golf one right here. And then we grabbed a quick pair of Y2K denim with a nice Carhartt flannel behind it. We also grabbed two packs of the velvet hangers for two bucks a piece. And then here we found this really cool 80s, 90s nylon Nike hat. Really wild tag on it. I wasn't sure if it is real, but with a little bit of research, I found out it was. And then we also grabbed these 90s Wilson's leather and the M Julian tag. These sell for anywhere from around like a hundred bucks. Um, I picked them up even though they do have a little bit of damage. I'm gonna try to repair it and make them look good again. And heck, I only paid $10 for them. So I think it's worth the risk to get the hundred. All right guys, back in the office and we're gonna close this video out for you guys. If you see anything in here that you like, you can check out my Depop right here. I have 700 plus items always posted and I post every day on there. And if you see something in the video that's not on my Depop yet, message me on Instagram. Um, I can either tell you where it's going to the flea market or what it is. And if you don't live close to check out the flea market, then you can purchase it through Instagram right here. The love on all these past videos has been amazing and I appreciate it so much. You guys have just been absolutely killing it and I'm blown away by it. But yeah, I will catch you guys on Wednesday with a new video. We're going to hit more thrifts the rest of this week and hopefully get a lot of good content for you guys and some really cool finds. But yeah, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace.